Com que sé que us ha agradat molt, tornarem a fer una cita de l'Espriu, no tan ben dita com en Francesc Ten, però ho intentarem. Tot és molt subtil, complex, qüestionable i controvertible, sobretot d'ençà de la sovintejada visita dels ovnis. El convidat, la persona que intervindrà ara, no sé si creu en els ovnis, li ho haurem de preguntar, però sí que sap que tot és molt complex. I ell mira de fer-ho fàcil amb l'amplificació, que és la xerrada que ens oferirà, de les xarxes socials i el seu ressò. És en Pep Lluís de la Rosa, professor d'enginyeria elèctrica, i com ell mateix diu en el seu currículum, no ho dius perfecte, ningú no és perfecte. La concepció de la ciència, i ho il·lustra en una foto on t'aguanta una bombeta que li il·lumina el cap, s'acosta més a la d'Edison que a la d'Einstein. I és la persona del món que em fa pensar més en el meu fill, que és capaç d'anar amb una mànica curta a 10 graus sota zero. Pep Lluís. Thank you, Fono. I have a question, you guys. Are you good? What? Are you good? Yes. Really good? Yes. Beware then, uh, because social networks is a uh, wild, wild west. Uh, it's a dangerous world. It's, uh, you know that 7% of Twitter users are not human. Do you know that 20% of social media users accept unknown friend requests. You know that more than half of the web traffic is generated by bots that uh, make comments and bias influence. This is a very difficult world, especially for love. Because heart is a lonely hunter that needs plenty of recommendations. In love, we have open questions that have no answers, but people can give up these answers. So this is an example. We have OkCupid. OkCupid is a dating website. For obvious reasons, a dating website is an ideal target for spammers. Spammers that introduce a lot of fake content, a lot of fake comments to attract your customers to other sites. So, OkCupid okay, is not happy with that. It's trying to defend from these spammers that are using bots for amplifying their action. In the beginning, they were easy to detect, but they were erasing these fake users. And the more they erased the users, they learned, and they came back, quickly came back stronger with social features. Bots seemed very like people. They start talking, making comments like people. So we're very difficult to detect. So this is the, the, the thing. We've been talking about risks. Huh? Social networks is about risks. But I'm an optimistic person, you believe me? I am optimistic. So I would, I would like I would rather talk about opportunities. Let's create good bots. Huh? Let's create those who work for us, that do no evil. The first opportunity I had is about those open questions I've talked about, because open questions are today ill-served. Those open questions are, they receive answers as recommendations, comments, referrals. They, uh, they, these are all types of answers to those. But search engines today are not delivering, are not able to answer those questions. Social networks like Facebook, Quora, others, they can. Okay, Cupid, of course. So, the point is, for example, is I put this question forward. Who's harder to me? The blonde one from Barcelona or the pale one from Boston? If you try to put this question forward to the uh, Google box, then the impressive list of results will be about uh, questioning your sexual strength and you will be recommended a lot of Viagra. Do it. Try to do it. Otherwise, with Facebook, RQCupid, all this, they try to find uh, uh, this recommendation from your friends, that they care about you, 
and the, of course trying to give read behind your the underlined of your question, your, your needs behind, and trying to give you well accurate uh, recommendations. Another opportunity ahead is about the, about social networks up are menacing us. We are at the core of the social networks. They put but they put a lot of pressure on us. The point is that the, uh, we are. Divided among several uh, uh, social networks, so we have Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, well, so many. And the result is procrastination. And we have a measure here. For example, in the case of email, we are uh, moving from 2.2 days on average, the time for answering emails in 2011. It raised up to 2.5 days. And this is increasing at the rhythm at the rate of five messages a day per year. So this is a clear point, a clear signal that our attention and our capacity to attend, to devote to answering, interacting with others is being delayed. That's procrastination. And we need systems that help us dealing with this type of burden. So let's talk about how to help, because we are used to use prophecies tool for our life. We use glasses for amplifying our vision, otherwise I can see. Sorry, who are you? Welcome. Oh, now I see you, sir. Oh, we use cars for speeding up our, our very low speed. We're using bots and machines, computers, to enhance, to expand our capacity of work. So, as well, we need help for prophecies for social nets. We need bots, those good bots, to help us interact Devote, be able to work in the night, answer those questions, those interactions, and do it with the help of those bots. Good news. Good news. For the first time in history, machines are able to generate knowledge. This never happened before. It's happening now. These machines are equally capable of working socially. They generate knowledge by data mining, and opinion mining. These are techniques that, are, that uh, uh, enable any, a computer to extract knowledge from data, making connections. It's simple knowledge at the beginning so far, but it's getting more complex. And this knowledge is about you. It's about how, what you profile, what you, what you prefer, how do you feel. They are able to do that. And they are able to deliver this in sort of recommendations to your friends through your contact list, so amplifiers. These devices, these bots, these good bots, can use your contacts to deliver knowledge about you, deliver what would be your, uh, your, uh, your recommendations. So, this is an example in our laboratory. We are working with Opinion Mind just to give you an idea of what is it. It's, for example, you have in the case of iPhone, you generate tweets saying, good, uh, iPhone is great, uh, iPhone is good, it means this is a good sense. This polarity means that this is a good comment. If you say, iPhone sucks, uh, that's terrible, it's a bad comment. So machines are able to extract the meaning behind, under your tweets, and make a summary and assessment. If we're counting, in this case, a number of positive comments versus the number of negative comments, if you see the half of 10,000, uh, 1,000 comments positive versus 3,000, it means that you, globally, you assess that iPhone is great. So this, is, this today can be done automatically, and this can be served automatically through social networks. Okay, so they start doing this for good. Believe me, I do need amplification. I do it now. Because I'm overburdened with so many mails, tons of mails, people uh, in the Facebook poking me, hey, answer, uh, in, in the corridor saying, Did you, you didn't answer my last message, my last email, sorry. You're all the time saying, sorry, sorry, I can't, I can't. Did you see the, the WhatsApp? It's on fire. I can't attend, I can't bear with so many messages. I didn't amplify now. I want really to deliver and be in contact with those who, who love me. Uh, I want to answer, I want to correspond to them. So I need this amplification. And I need it for good, uh, not for evil. Remember that. Okay, so far, summing up, what have we done? Amplifiers are able to answer questions to other people, taking knowledge about you and delivering this as a sort of recommendation to others automatically. You can do the same. If you have questions, you can ask the amplifiers of others and receive your answers. 
their recommendations from others. So amplifiers create a social network of good bots working together, and your amplifier is the door for social search. So back to open questions. The point, the research line we're doing in our laboratory is about that. How can we use the capacity of this, the Facebook-like social networks like those and this magnificent, the tremendous capacity, of indexing capacity of Google to make together what we call, we call sort of Facebook. Just let's so it makes this, huh? So that's the research line. So we have a number of published creations you're interested. Of course, we can uh, burn you out with us. So taking back, do you remember the example of OKCupid? Okay what happened to them? Huh? Remember that there were spammers attacking the site? How they did defend? They create good robots, robots that start talking to the bad bots, and they were able to have this, by the way, pretty dumb and pretty uh, stupid conversations out of the site, so that they diverted this traffic out. And so this is an example to be a clear example to be optimistic. Good bots will help us. And remember, so uh, the social networks are the Wild Wild West. Bad boss that I've been talking about opportunities, especially. And one opportunity are these amplifiers that will be the door for social search. And open questions will be, in the end, finally, properly answered. Less procrastination and less infoxication. And friends, just to end up, this is my message. Huh? Don't feel fear. Amplifiers are here. Huh? With them, we'll be able to ask and not search. I'm Professor La Rosa from University of Girona. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, <laughs> this is Mikel Duran. <laughs> nice to meet you. Professional procrastinator. <laughs> I believe. Two things I wanted to comment. First, I agradeix you very much Pep Lluís who has spoken in English because I think I can understand it better than when I speak in my own language materna. No, it's a joke, it's a joke. The second thing, well, this thing of procrastination and all that, it's true, we procrastinate a lot. The thing of the email is electronic, and I received 150 emails electronic ahir, 150 abans d'ahir. It's terrible, it's hard every day, every time you have to answer. Really, I think that what you've presented is extraordinary. It seems very, very good. Dona per molt aquesta xerrada, realment t'ho agraeixo moltíssim. De menys infoxicació, menys procrastinació. Tu de veritat t'ho creus, això? Ostres, ho tenim a la sang. Escopim infoxicació tot el temps. Però n'hi haurà menys, de veritat? No, no, més. Passa que necessitem màquines que mos ajudin. Ah, d'acord. Doncs dic que com no les màquines no ens ajudin, estem perduts. Estem perduts, absolutament. Això és el missatge. Optimista, by the way. Escolta, és com que aquest tema m'apassiona, la veritat, no? Vull dir, realment, quan dius que molt de trànsit ja no és humà... Sí, 50%. Perdona, què vol dir que no és humà? Perquè les màquines les hem programades nosaltres, no? Sí, sí, però clar, però l'entrega del missatge no és humana. Que hi ha alguna entrega que sigui humana. Perquè quan jo faig un tuit amb la màquina, hi ha una màquina que me'l retransmet. Ah, bueno, no, no, la generació de contingut, estem xerrant. La generació del contingut, ja, simplement, agafes dues frases, les canvies d'ordre, ja és contingut nou. I això inundes... Ah, caray. Sí, 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 ho entenc. Molt bé, m'ha agradat molt. Bé, jo, a veure, donaria però molt la xerrada, m'és apassionant, un aplaudiment per en Pep Lluís, que ha estat fantàstic. Molt bé, gràcies. Moltes gràcies, Pep Lluís, molt bé, molt bé. Bé, fora.